Everywhere on YouTube you see this word associated with Pokemon, and I assume because you clicked on this video you know what it means. But if you don't know, I'll give you the basic rundown of what a Nuzlocke is. It essentially makes the Pokemon game harder. That's it. And because I was looking for a challenge, I wanted to start a Nuzlocke of my own. But I wanted it to have a little twist. So I used a randomized ROM hack with all the Pokemon from Kanto to Galar within it. And I also followed the regular rules of a Nuzlocke. I must catch the first Pokemon I see on each route. If a Pokemon faints is no longer usable, I must nickname all captured Pokemon. I cannot use items during a battle. And I gave myself an additional rule. I can only gain XPs through trainer battles. And so, with the rules in place, I began my first ever Nuzlocke. The game starts and I grab my free potion from the PC and continue as normal until I choose my first Pokemon. My options were Dragapult, Frillish, and Slackataka. I choose Dragapult and name him Cubert for some reason, I'm not really sure why. Then came my rival battle, which was against Slackataka, which I promptly, well, um, the first battle isn't counted anyways. Or at least I'm not counting it. After losing against a literal brick shithouse, I went to get Oak's parcel. Along the way, I found the Galarian Zapdos, but because I didn't have any balls, my Route 1 capture didn't count yet. Or at least I'm not counting it. But once I got Pokeballs, I came back for the bird, only to get a small spider thingy. I named Joltik. Wait, it's a tick. I named Joltik the proper name, and then caught Queen the Grumpig on Route 22. After watching an old man catch a seemingly innocent Poltegeist, my route to encounter was a Groudon. Wait, at this point I realized the run could end only 16 minutes into it. Whatever I did, I had to play it safe. I had two options. Option 1, run away and lose my route to encounter. Or, option 2, try to catch the big red bastard itself. Instead, I chose option 3, accidentally killing it with infestation. Once in Viridian Force, I figured I would grind on trainer battles for XP. That's when I ran into him. Bug Catcher Rick. Rick sent out his trusty Poltegeist, and in turn I sent out Cubert, whom I forgot to heal after my battle with Groudon. I knew Cubert would outspeed, so I landed the first Astonish, only to see the death of my run right before my eyes. You see, Poltegeist has an ability called Weak Armor, and for those who don't know, Weak Armor lowers a Pokemon's defense by one point, but in turn increases its speed by one point, and with Cubert one hit away from death, I needed to swap out. But the only problem was Joltik doesn't have any damaging moves, and Grumpig is psychic. I know my only option was death when I sacrificed Queen, only for then Cubert to shortly go after. And then finally, little guy. It was over. All over. Could I have done better? Of course, but now's not the time for that. All I can do is start anew. Thank you for staying this far into the video. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed.